Hi everybody, welcome to another CMAC tutorial. Caesar here, and today we're going to be looking at the Manfrotto monopod as well as the small rig, shoulder rig, and all its accessories. The monopod and shoulder rig can be paired up with any of our camera bodies. All of our camera bodies have a full-size HDMI port to adapt to the Atomos monitor. If you decide on the Canon C100 Mark II for the shoulder rig, there will be some additional accessories that work great with that specific camera body. But why would you want to check out either of these support rigs? If you've filmed completely handheld before, you may have found your footage unusable. However, sometimes the type of shot you want to get or need just can't be achieved by using a tripod. This is where I like to utilize a monopod. The Manfrotto monopod has one leg, three leg extensions, and an aluminum body that will reach up to 6.5 feet when fully extended. One unique feature of this monopod is the feet, which you will extend out, as well as the ball head joint that really allow for some great types of shots. Your tilt knob is right here. Your plate will release by turning this knob counterclockwise then pressing it down to release the plate. Unlike the tripods where the plate slides out, this plate will drop in. Once you have set your camera on the monopod head, be sure to turn this knob counterclockwise to tighten. You will not have a pan lock since you will be able to physically rotate the body of the monopod to achieve this movement. Monopods are a great solution to having some added camera stability. They are also a great option if the space you are filming has space limitations that will not allow you enough room to use a tripod or other equipment, or if you're filming on the go. I'll add a link in the description to some examples. The next setup I'll want to show you is the small rig shoulder rig and the Atomos Shinobi monitor combo. The Atomos Shinobi 5 inch monitor shoulder rig combo will be in a Porta Brace case. It includes an Atomos Shinobi 5 inch monitor, two batteries, a battery charger, a clip on hood, an AC wall adapter, and a standard HDMI cable. You will also have the shoulder rig itself with a few attachments for the monitor, as well as an attachment for the C100 camera. The small rig shoulder rig has two arms with two hand grips. To extend the arms, spin the rosette lever and swing the arms forward. Next, release the hand grips spinning these levers. To extend the arms forward, simply spin this lever and move to the desired position. Note, your arms may be at different lengths and positions depending on your shooting style. If you forget which way is forward, look underneath the rig. The triangle should be pointing away from you. This is a VST plate adapter. You can mount many of our camera models to this shoulder rig. First, we will need to remove the plate by turning this lever, sliding the plate back, and then releasing with this button here. Next, let's mount our camera onto the plate. Remember, this arrow here on the plate should be facing forward. Now I'll slide my camera back onto the shoulder rig. Now I'm going to mount this two rod attachment to the front of the shoulder rig and tighten these two levers for tension. All the rods can be adjusted on this attachment for comfort. Next, I'm going to mount this NATO rail attachment by making sure my red lever is pointed away from the arrow, then slide it onto this other NATO rail by pressing these button stoppers to get the attachment by. When comfortable, press the red lever forward towards the arrow to lock in place. Next, I'm going to attach the monitor to the attachment using this screw right here. I'll mount a battery for the monitor as well as connect the HDMI cable from the camera to the monitor. Let's power our monitor using this power button here on the back, as well as your camera. For most of our cameras, this will be all you need to set up. Just adjust your arms for comfort. For this setup, I will remove the right arm attachment. Our last attachment for the Canon C100 Mark II is this mount to extend the hand grip. First, mount this to the front two rails. With the cable that connects to the attachment, connect to your camera. Then, connect the hand grip to this attachment here. Spin the rosette to a comfortable fit. Remember. The shoulder rig should be resting on your shoulder and the monitor should be in front of your eyes. This process will take some time to get down, so be patient and leave yourself plenty of time to set up. And that's it. That's how you use our monopod and shoulder rig support systems. Thanks for joining. If you liked this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And be sure to check out our playlist of other tutorials. You can stay up to date on all things CMAC by following us on social media. Learn how you can become a CMAC member with access to equipment, editing tools, and other resources by going to cmac.tv. Thank you.